Welcome to Decentralized News. Today, I want to talk about uh, crypto trading strategies. So similar to how equities and uh, commodities are traded, for example, crypto trading is also fraught with its uh, risks and uh, pitfalls. So in order to have uh, long term benefits from uh, this type of activity, you know, if you're a market enthusiast, you need to develop particular strategies to make your trading more uh, I think uh, more profitable and also uh, more favorable. So the first uh, trading uh, strategy that we look at is a uh, day trading. So this trading strategy effectively uh, involves taking positions and ex exiting them on the same day. So the aim of a trader while adopting such a trade is uh, to pretty much book profits amid uh, intraday price movements in uh, the specific cryptocurrencies of their choice. So for a successful trader, investors often rely on uh, technical indicators when day trading to figure out uh, entry and exit points for particular cryptocurrencies. The second one is a uh, range trading. So this actually involves uh, market players uh, pretty much uh, or relying on experienced analysts who give support and resistance levels each day. So uh, resistance refers to the point up to which the price might you know might arise and therefore a resistance level is a price above the current price in contrast the support level is a level below which a crypto price is not supposed to fall hence a support level is always below the current price so um scalping is another strategy so this uh, trading strategy uh, pretty much involves um using increased trading volumes to book profit and uh, although there are risks involved a smart trader takes care of uh, the margin requirement and other important rules to avoid bad trading experiences uh, scalpers un, uh, or analyze the crypto asset past trends volumes and choose entry points and exit points within a day uh, they are also high frequency traders, so that's also another strategy. So high frequency trading is a kind of algorithmic trading strategy used by quant traders. This involves developing algorithmic and uh, trading bots to help quickly enter and exit uh, a crypto asset. Developing such bots needs the understanding of uh, complex market concepts and uh, strong knowledge of mathematics and computer science. Therefore, it is uh, pretty much more suited to advanced traders and beginners. There's also a most popular strategy or most recommended strategy is uh, dollar cost averaging. This uh, effectively just involves finding the perfect entry point uh, or, you know, as perfect as it can be. There can never be uh, such a thing as timing the market correctly. So perfect entry points, exit points, and uh, it is uh, best to assume that the market timing is next to impossible, like I've just said. So rather than having to go with uh, uh, any of the other trading strategies, you pretty much dollar cost average, which is you buy a certain amount of uh, specific assets uh, on a consistent basis over a period of time. And uh, I would sort of uh, liken this to more of a value tr um, investing type of approach where you know, you're not trying to buy at the very lows you're not also trying to buy at highs. So over time, if you're consistently buying, uh, you actually average out. And it actually, research does show that people that dollar cost average do well or fire fair much better than people that try to time the market. So this is why this is the most uh, recommended strategy, especially for beginners who have a long-term uh, view of uh, investing uh, especially if it's uh, let's say holding a store of value asset such as btc so building a balanced portfolio is another one crypto trading is still obviously in an um, evolving stage while some countries welcome uh, trading in crypto some still are a bit skeptical so central banks across the globe are now sort of looking at ways to regulate these digital currencies Strategies that can uh, help investors stay clear of uh, extreme volatility include, you know, balanced portfolio building. So this is why this is uh, one such strategy you can use. Building a balanced portfolio would, inc uh, say, include a variety of, uh, let's say, cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum or whatever. And you could go a long way 
in beating uh, volatility by just having more diversified uh, portfolios as well. So another strategy is uh, avoid making uh, sort of, um, you know, trading calls that are based on hype, especially in this crypto uh, market. There are a lot of uh, <laughs> pumpers, we call them, you know, people that are always shilling certain coins, certain projects. And, uh, you know, don't always buy the hype. Usually uh, the smart traders sell the hype, you know, they buy when there is a fear in the market. And I think that is a more of a uh, advisable strategy to take, even if this is not uh, financial advice. Another strategy is obviously uh, betting on volatility. There are sort of uh, volatility coins now that you can uh, buy on platforms like uh, FTX. Also, another strategy is arbitrage. And uh, this is a way you're looking to purchase certain coins in different markets and uh, capitalizing on the price difference to make profit. So there are quite a few uh, ways you can trade cryptocurrencies. It just depends on your risk appetite, your uh, time horizon in that view of uh, your approach. And uh, also, yeah, what your risk appetite is. So this is uh, pretty much what I wanted to talk to you about today, but don't forget to head on over to Decentralized.News. Check out our resources tab. You'll get all the information that you need for free uh, to navigate your way across this uh, crypto space. And also make sure to check out the rest of the links in the description and like, share, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. See you again in the next video. Peace, y'all.